In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this split screen effect in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have my clips down on the timeline, and first I'm gonna show you how to do this with just two clips. So for the first clip, I'm just gonna bring this up on the second video layer, and then just drag that second clip underneath. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over here to these double arrows, go down to effects, and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna type in crop. Then just drag crop onto that top layer. Then over here under effects controls, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. So before I make any adjustments to the crop effect, I need to understand that across this frame is 100%. So I wanna break it down to 50% on this side and 50% on the other side. In order to do that, I'm gonna take my percentages over here and then add them up to 50. So from the left hand side, I'm gonna bring this up to about 35%. And then that remaining 15% is gonna be from the right side. And if that doesn't work out, I'm just going to adjust these until I have the look that I want. I think that looks pretty good there. So now all I'm gonna do is go back up and adjust the position and shift that all the way over to the right on the edge. Then I'm gonna click on that second clip and I'm just going to adjust the position to get the subject or what I want in the shot within the frame. So now what I have is 50% on this side and 50% on this side, and that looks pretty good for me. I also like to add that crop effect to the second clip as well because I like to trim off any excess just in case I like to add multiple split screen effects to the video. And then I'm just gonna take it from the right and just make sure that I don't trim off too much. If you wanna add the border in between both video layers, all you have to do is go over here to the pen tool and select the rectangle tool. And then I'm just going to click and drag from top to bottom and then go over here to where it says shape under effect controls and I can adjust the color and make it whatever color I want it to be. Also what I'll do is kind of adjust the position to make sure that I have the entire frame split. And then I'll just play it back and you can see what we already have so far. And that looks pretty good to me. Now if I want to add a third video to this shot, all I'm gonna do is just drag that border up one frame and then drag my third shot just above the rest of the other shots. Then what I want to do is just bring this third clip down to about half of its size. So for this, I want to bring it down to 100 for a normal size clip, you're gonna to wanna to change that down to about 50. Then what I'm gonna do is take that drone shot, that third video, and reposition it where I want it to be within the frame. And just drag that up. That looks pretty good to me, but I just wanna make some changes to this controller clip, so I'm just gonna click on that one, adjust the position, just bring that down within the frame to make it look the way that I want. Once I'm ready to create that second border, I'm just gonna go down here to the rectangle tool again, and I'm just going to click and drag that over. That looks pretty good to me. Just make sure it's positioned correctly. Then I'm just gonna play back what we have so far. And that's starting to look pretty good. The next way I'm gonna show you is gonna seem a little complex, but it's actually pretty easy. So I'm gonna take my three clips and I'm gonna stack them on top of one another. Then what I wanna do is go over here to the double arrows, go down to effects, and I'm gonna type in radial wipe. And I'm gonna drag radial wipe onto my first clip. What I wanna do under effects controls is go down to transition completion and change that to 50%. 50% is gonna give me a straight line and it's gonna make it a lot easier to create those borders between the different shots. Then what I wanna do is adjust the start angle. So I'm just going to rotate this however I want it to look. That looks pretty good for me. Then I'm just gonna play around with the wipe center to kind of adjust and create those different split parts within the frame. That looks pretty good right there for me. Then what I'm gonna do is click on that controller clip kind of scale this down a little bit so I can get a little more within that frame. Once I'm happy with that, next I'm gonna create that border. So instead of using the rectangle tool, this time we're gonna use the pen tool. So I'm just gonna go over to the starting point, click on it, and the ending point. And then I'm gonna go over here under shape and click on stroke, and just bring this up to the size that I want. 20 seems pretty good to me. Then what I'm gonna do is kind of zoom in a little bit on this clip, make sure that my edges are drug all the way across and it lines up with my border. And that looks pretty good so far. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another radial wipe to that top layer clip. I'm gonna scroll down under effects controls, change the transition completion up to 50% again to get that straight line. And then I'm gonna rotate the angle that I want. And that looks pretty good right there. Adjust the wipe center. I think that right there looks pretty good for me. I also wanna just kinda adjust this angle just a little more. Right there is perfect. Then you'll notice that video layer number two is kind of overtaking video layer number one. So in order to fix this, I'm just going to click and drag radial wipe onto that controller clip. Then I'm gonna scroll down here, 
change transition complete to 50% again. Then I'm going to just adjust that start angle and rotate it enough to where you can see your clip on the left hand side right here. And what's going to happen is when I use the wipe center, it's going to start to push across. What I want to do is kind of get the same angle as that border, but I can kind of fine tune this here in just a sec. That looks pretty good right there. And then I'm just going to use that wipe center and bring it up. And notice that my angle is still a little bit off, so I'm just going to kind of play around with this so I can line it up correctly. And that looks pretty good right there. So now what I'm going to do is just create that final border. So I'm going to click on the pen tool, click on the very top here. Then just click down here on the bottom. Now I'm just going to zoom in and just kind of line up everything to make sure it looks correct. I also want to kind of downsize this layer just a little bit. That way I can get more detail within the shot. All right, then I'm going to play back what we have. That looks pretty good right there. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.